French Yak. And Key's gonna murder this guy. Shots. He's Cardinals. Why can't I take any of his crew? There we go. Done. That took a while. Let's get up. Dead. Sea fire. Is that another M16 shooting me? Doing some ground stuff too. Oh, there's wing damaged. 30 rounds left. Right in the back of the pilot's head. Trying to get this guy slow. I need to win by. Okay, before he's even crashed down there. There we go. Gang three. Got him crit. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Gang three P squad. Hiya, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to do something different. Now, the majority of my videos generally sees me going on a killing spree or pancaking into the ground, but there are other ways to play War Thunder. And in this video, we're going to cover that. This is the PT-76B light tank for Russia, and it's not very good. Its armor is as thick as cigarette paper. It is the size of a house. There are only three crew members inside this, and of course, it can hull break. Of course, it has a heat fin stabilized round with 200 millimeters of pen, but there are APHE rounds that do just as much pen as this and they do better post-pen damage. Most people just see the 200 millimeters and expect that this thing is going to be great, but it really isn't. It has a lengthy reload at 10 seconds without your expert crew, and only negative 4 degrees of gun elevation. But it has two things that go in its favor which are pretty detrimental. One, it has a stabilized gun, and two, it can scout. We can of course repair teammates as well, being a light tank, which is a pretty handy thing as well. But today we're going to focus on scouting, getting assists, then getting ourselves into the air and trying to protect the rest of our team on the ground. Now, I see a lot of people in the comments upset about me doing close air support, but the only way to counter that is to fly yourself. Now, the other day I was playing with some of the Discord members in Discord, and I remembered about the Yak-3P. This is a Russian dogfighter from hell, and in ground RB, this thing is an absolute menace. It has three 20mm cannons, and they're not schwacks, they're actually good ones. The cannon rounds themselves have 27mm of pen, so you can actually do some serious damage to tanks on the ground too. This thing is super fast and turns really well, and people just don't expect it to do what it does. But the most important thing of this plane, the thing that really makes it overpowered, is that it's painted red. And it's kind of not a joke, because when I first started playing, anytime I seen a red plane, I knew that it was good, and it really put me off. And seriously, when you think about it, a lot of planes that are red are actually very good. The I-180S, the I-301, the I-29. <laughs> it's kind of like a teeny bit of psychological warfare. Aha, red plane go brrr. Now, just in case things don't go well on the ground for our teammates, I'll be bringing out the TU-2S as well. And of course, the Tizma. Alrighty, let's jump into battle. Right, so here we are, defending Stalingrad. So this map is fairly flat, but it also has some areas that aren't. <laughs> so position here is going to be pretty key. I'm doing this game. Looks very good in 4K. Some people know some epic spots for dropping artillery. It scares me. Let's keep our scouty binoculars at the ready. I've got to be careful that I don't scout something while that little circle is bobbing up and down. 
Oh, a little bit too low. That would have been nice. Oh, he's coming back. We chaffy. There's a panda scouted now too. He fired. And he's gone. Let's run over this little bit here. 3485 is going for the cap. This is not a safe spot that I'm in, but it gets us in the action for a little while. That's if it comes to us. Too low. He fired though. Is that another PT shooting at this guy? Well, there he is. Thank you very much, Charlie. There's another one to his right somewhere. Unless it was just a bit of debris that I spotted. I am... Um, okay, that's definitely one. Watch that right side. Yeah, what is that? He's right here. Tiger. Driver load up. And he can't get his gun over here. I'm just going to hide. He is marked. He has no idea where I am. There he goes. A panther here as well. There's the tiger I saw before. Non pen. I'm too far to the right. He is looking my way and is not very happy. I want to help this T3485, but I can't. Well, this dude is staring at me. And he backed up through the wall. Okay, dude. I got you. I got you. Another tiger. Two. Not a tiger, two. I mean, two tigers. One pen. This T3485 is burning to death. Okay, kill assist on that one. The other one is in the smoke. Ah, damn. Another tiger come up behind the first one I crit before. Okay, five assists. And we got one ground target destroyed. That's going to give us quite a lot of uh, spawn points. Right, anti cast time. Got another Yak 9 up. By the way, this plane is fast as F for whatever we are. This is a 5 0. And it turns so nice. That 109 is already diving on that guy. These 20 mils are okay at setting fires on tanks as well. Particularly things like Panthers and stuff. It's a Japanese fire. He has three planes on him though. What is that, an A6? It actually looks like one. Although I am not very good at it. Yeah, it's an A6. He's gone underneath me. I'm going way too fast for this, Chief. Look at this thing turn though at speed. Expert crew and I'm blacking out. Please no Burbowind or R3. Taking that guy in a hair on? No, he's not. That was a fat yikes, whatever you did there, dude. Right, okay. Egg 3 behind me. I don't see any other aircraft coming in right now. The worst thing that guy can spawn in is a Soki. Okay, good, good night. Egg 3 was nice knowing you. Okay, we got a couple of guys coming in. Back to. Where did I see this guy? Is this a Panther? Okay, no, it's just a Panzer 4. He's now missing two crew and his engine. See if I can focus my efforts on helping friendlies on the map. We got A pretty much secure. B is going to be the difficulty. I can't do any damage to a tiger top down, not reliably. So I can't really do anything about that. There's a white camouflage tiger down here. Oh, there's a Soki. I called it. If that guy's a decent aim, I don't want to be anywhere near him. I can definitely get Panther A's. I've seen another thing, uh, as well as that Panzer IV that we crept before. So, it's 
Sherman. Probably a Tipo. Still no enemy plane. Oh damn, that was a big a P8. <laughs> he actually killed a T25 though, which is not very good. That's our kind of, I would say, our queen chess piece of the battle. Oh, pretty much dead now. Thanks. But I guess B is clear. Uh, they're on A2. Actually, I see him. If they cut the throttle, I almost compressed last time. I don't see the Soki's firing at me, but it's making no noise. Our tracer. What is that? A panther that I can't pin. Soki's just sitting there. That's a panther that I can pin. Oh my god, there's so many panthers. I got them too. I expected a lot more aircraft here. But we didn't get them. Another... This is actually a critical panther down here and that tiger is there that I can't do anything about. So if I at least get this guy's gunner out for this tank. There is his breach gone. God, these 20 mils do some serious damage to tanks, but they're not very good against planes. Says the guy who evaporated at... Zero with two shots. <laughs> I'm really helping out this... T-34, which is great. Okay, I got that guy in fire, so he can't repair anymore. That, by the way, is a big brain strat. If you ever damage something's barrel or breach and you can't do any other damage to it with it, like a plane, just set it on fire. It won't be able to repair. It'll have to reset. That's the second one now. So as long as this guy deals with the tiger, these two, this panther is completely harmless. 45 rounds plane coming in. I might have to save my ammo here. Oh my god, that guy's getting close now. He's getting his bearings. Okay, we're gonna get some speed. Uh, there goes the panther, good. An engine boy. I can't really go near those wobbles though. The guy's still got line of sight of me? Not really. This dude is getting close. An no, wind, I think. Holy crap, that gave me a fright. Right, 110 seat. He got a hits. Nothing special. I only got 36 rounds left though. Oh, it's AI gunners wrecking me. He's dead. Oh. Right. No ammo. We gotta get out of here. Our team are winning, no. No. I love this plane. It does things it probably shouldn't be able to do. <laughs> there are aircraft coming in. Right, we go land. There we go. Oh, that was cool. Did you see that in the distance? I'll probably zoom in on that. Right, I'm going to switch out planes here. We're going to hop into the TU-2. I don't know. This thing has a, a bomb site on it. It should do. It should do. Right, oh. Getting strafed. I mean, my bomb's on him anyway. Good luck, P63. Um, okay, that last one too should die to this bomb though. Right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I landed in this turret. No way, dude. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, what, what a way to finish a game. Damn. I actually landed in this turret. It's the second time I've done that this week. Bloody hell. 
Yeah, that's that's not a fate you want to suffer, really, I guess. Well, GG. <laughs> right, this is a really shit map for us. Yes, even this jumbo has decided he doesn't want to play. Is this a... Can I really drive all the way out this way? Why don't more people do this? Oh, well, that's not good. He's just waiting to elevate his gun against me. Actually, wait a minute. I can... I can actually range find this with binos. He just got hit pretty hard. 600. I'm actually going to just put 600 on here. See what happens. Man, I load that. Oh, it was breach out too. He at least can 50 kill me back right now. Did he just go off the cliff? No. <laughs> no, it's just the, it's the server. Engaging servers do engaging server things. Dude, how is this a thing up here? The Hellcat's still alive. That hole broke pretty nicely. That's where I normally sell up there, so it goes to show you just how open this little spot can be. Another guy died up there. Can probably camp there uh, way up here. I is too soon. Wait, where did I where did I get shot from? This dude? It's pretty far out. Oh there's two. That guy there too. This is just sitting in a spawn. Basically, that guy's really far. I don't want to even take a shot at him. Oh well, I probably should have. That jumbo's gonna fire at me soon too. <gasps> Hello, AC Mark IV. It's a nice tank. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> okay, if my reload speed was faster, we'd have a lot more damage. He's pretty useless unless you're shooting heavy tanks. That it's worthwhile shooting at. Okay, yeah, let's go. That's the problem with firing such a a round, right? Like the heat. At this BR, there's things that do just about the same pen. Hold on a wee minute. We'll, we'll continue this conversation in a second. Anyway, I was saying, just about the same pen, but do a lot more post-pen damage and they don't take as long to reload. I think he lost where I was. He's running to his friend now. It's definitely the right thing to do. He's what? Just one friend? Yeah, let me come down here. This one gone. Lost the other guy. A P-47D, I think. Oh, he's... He made mistakes. I don't know what he was playing at either. The, I don't think he can outrun me, this guy. He's got bombs, which I need to be wary of, at least. All I did was turn me off. Did he... Did he drop all of them? Yeah, he did. Now he's turning into me. gonna cost him. Goodbye, dude. It was nice knowing you. That brief moment. Right. Is that... Okay, he's shooting at the dead plane. Anyway. Yeah. High pen round like that heat at this battle rating is next to useless. There's, there's no real like use for it unless you're shooting heavy tanks at long range. But when you're as soft as poo, fresh poo, that is, in a vehicle like a PT-76, it's just not a viable thing. The stabilizer's nice, but your APHE shell only having 100 millipen is not good against even medium tanks of this BR. Putting it down a battle rating is not a good idea either. 
because it starts to hole break a lot of things that really depend on not getting shot at by heats and of course it's got a full stabilizer weapon really bad aim there Pilot's think them, thank god. That's okay, we're getting shot at by anti here. I should go back and get some more ammo. That's an enemy. A live one. We have 55 rounds left, which is not an awful lot. Where are you? I see fire! I see fury. My plane's red, I'll catch you. Something's firing at me, but I don't know what it is. Not anymore. This man's got a lot of power. But I think we can actually keep climbing with this dude. See his stall characteristics are better. I think it's mine. Okay, here he goes. Making maneuvers. That's an oof, dude. I really like the Russian guns in the nose. Make sure this guy dies. He didn't. 28 rounds. More damage. I got 10 bullets left. Hopefully he doesn't have a friendly coming in either. You are flying awfully good for a guy with no engine. No. Just go down. Those are some really fun dogfights, all of those. Other than the Wyvern. No. No surrendering. I was waiting on them popping smoke. Oh, damn. That, that lad got pilot sniped with that <laughs> Crusader. Right, they're capping A. Let's go land. I'm actually really enjoying flying this aircraft. It's been a while. This P8 is an, an interesting landing technique. <laughs> no better than mine, really. Oh, God. That's a terrifying sight. Hold on. We're going to go off to the side just in case. Oh yeah, he... <laughs> I think he chickened out. This guy's like, Jesus, was seven? Is this? I'm lagging like hell. Yeah. Welcome to War Thunder now. <laughs> the Gaijin Lottery is in full force. Where are you going? He probably thinks that he can't land on here while I'm down on the ground. But your... Your planes phase out of existence when as soon as you touch the ground. So you can't actually ram each other on the runway. You got two jumbos kicking our team's backside. I wonder if the BB-1 is actually quite a significantly good aircraft, even at this BR. God, look at the terrain changing shape. It's like, even, it looks laggy even. Oh, here's this. That's an M19 actually, that's not a buffers, a uh, British one. Still two buffers. More rag them. That's a buffers down there. Don't you kill that, it's just 12. Oh, there's two here. Let's get the M19 first. Give me another ammo rack. And he's on fire and he's missing. Oh, that guy's probably going to burn out. I would hope so. No, he's not. You stop it. Leave my team alone. We're on the cap. Hell yeah, there goes another ammo rag. Right, that M19's not going to get fixed anytime soon. But he is firing at me somehow, even though both his breaches were knocked out. Will it actually do me damage? I probably will. Oh, my luck. 
Okay, we're fine though. Whoa! Yep. We still got 50 cows up. Ow! This man's a good aim. It's a fuel leak. Okay, a 76 jumbo just died. That is good news for us. And then a plane is coming in. This might give me my air race, maybe. Let's see, is it a Spitfire? Or is it the best plane of World War II? The P-51. Two planes. Not good news. I'm going straight up for a fight. Hey, it's a P-51. It's a red tail. Yes, fight me. Dodge that guy. Back up for the 51. Laps. Back in. Good aim. God, my aim is garbage. I've got 14 rounds left now. The other guy ignored this guy, though. I was so cocky with my other shots that I started doing dumb stuff. Okay, that fire is going to help. I want to keep on him though. Just to see if I can get him to bleed some speed. So he actually crashes. That P-47 that's up is causing problems for our ground unit, so... He's dead. No, he's not. <laughs> How are you doing this? Okay, now, now he's in trouble. I'm out of here. Well, this guy gets a lucky pilot snipe on me. There he goes. Right, P-47. I've got 10 bullets in our dream. No, the enemy's getting the cat. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna crash. Never kill good. Right, what is on A? I can win this. I still got the TU2 to go. Sherman on the 2. A 76. Two. Oh, it's a Firefly and a 76. M16 just got killed. Right, we are sacrificial lamb right now. I missed him too. Damn. I didn't get his uh, breach out. Okay, to you, we need to go. Right, pretty quick too. Damn, that jumbo just killed it. Oh no, there's a plane here. This may be it. What is that? An A, an A2D? Oh, he doesn't see me yet. Yet. Oh, this is good, but I hate to actually hit him though. Come on, boss. Why are you so bad? I'm so bad at video games. God, I, I had that guy dead to rights and I whiffed it so bad. I'm so dead now. This guy can turn so well. Damn it. I'm still... I'm waiting on the hit. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I didn't damage the the big boy though. I got a Tisma. Oh, it's too late. Damn, dude. Damn. <laughs> I, I whiffed that so bad. I can't believe I couldn't hit that A to D. I couldn't see where my tracers were going. I'm just awful at this game. I tried. It was a good time. I enjoyed it. Hey again, Patreon was down yesterday and I really wanted to get this in before anything else. Thank you. All my patrons, you're all awesome, and I'm really guilty I couldn't show you out yesterday. I don't know why I just slammed my desk. But yeah, for your support over there, you guys are awesome, especially the tier 3 folks. 
Matthew S, Jesse Mills, Thumpin' Bunny, Kyla White, Houndy, Gateway, Bill L, Trash Panda, Ride Zemma, Kane the Soul Lord, Viking Gods, Warpig, Firepiper, Sexy Vanny and Yogbo, Justin Dallin, Big Bearded Moose, Shah, Fork, J Tormy, and Fearsome Scotsman. <laughs> And those are the tier 3 you get the show. There's so many, many, many more. Thank you guys very much. I love the look of this plane, its agility, the way it handles, just everything about it. It's a really cool aircraft. If you don't have it, you definitely need to get it. It's awesome. And the Boat 76, maybe. This definitely takes a sort of certain playstyle. The gun is okay, but the stabilization thing is really helpful. Of course, for scouting, Honestly, there's nothing much there. You could probably bring the ASU-57 or if you have access to it, the BT-7F-32 all the way up to 5.3 and it would still be as good probably. Of course, those two vehicles aren't going to eat a Panther A through the upper front plate, but that one's slightly faster and this one's a little bit more sneaky. It's honestly a cool tank and it's not terrible. It just takes a little while of getting used to. Anyway, I'm off in a hurry to get my dinner. I'm going to hit render. But thank you guys very much for watching. <laughs> much love and bye-bye.